watch one of those commercials and they're just spinning all around, throwing the car sideways on the wet road. Man, I want to drive like that. <coughs> and now, all the way from the tropical, sun-filled playground of the rich and famous, you guessed it, Wolfsburg, Germany, straight to the two. Like, subscribe, ring that bell. The one we've all been waiting for. Here it is, folks. Now's the time. The 1985 all-new in-house design Motor Trend Magazine's 1985 Car of the Year. What? Where? I don't. I don't see it. Where is? It? Oh. So thanks for coming back, and without further ado, here we go. The Mark II Volkswagen GTI offered it all your favorite colors. The critically acclaimed GTI was a step above the standard car, not only in a performance, but also in appearance. The GTI got aerodynamic Euro-styled halogen headlamps, as previously seen on the Jetta, red decor moldings on the bumpers, a rear spoiler, What else made the GTI better uh, than the regular car? Body side moldings with the GTI logo and a red stripe going all the way around. You know you love the red stripe around the grill. Ooh, That's yeah. key. The red stripe continues. The whole motif continues on the inside of the car. What else? Black window moldings instead of chrome. Windshield wiper air deflector on the driver's side of the car. How plentiful are those air deflectors now? Huh? Who has one? Who has a bunch of them? Let me know. Leave a comment. What else? And a black hatch surround made the GTI stand out from the standard car. Differences continued on the inside of the GTI with a luxurious interior that was graciously offered by Volkswagen in any damn color your greedy little dark heart desired, as long as it was charcoal. You didn't have, uh, you didn't have different things, different options for the car. There were options for the car that weren't available. Driver interface while nestled all snug and cozy in the seat of your GTI gave you a four-spoke steering wheel that we're all familiar with for turning around those twisty, turny canyon roads. A charcoal leather shifter boot with matching knob proudly perched on top of the gear shifter like a hawk, fully staged for flight and patiently awaiting an RSVP from your gear shifting hand inviting you to row through the gears on that close ratio five-speed manual transmission. <laughs> Golf optional one-third, two-third, bold and tumble split rear seat made an appearance behind the sports seats adorned with unique cloth upholstery all around for you and for your closest friends, for your kids or your family or your cousins or whatever you got going on. We're assured maximum comfort for anyone who decided to join you on that particular day. The GTI is designed with driver and passenger needs. Otherwise, the GTI was offered in similar fashion to the standard car. Unit body construction, tinted glass, those two wonderful backup lights. And, you know, your standard, standard equipment type standard stuff. The GTI was touted by Volkswagen as more fun for the money than any other performance car. Wait, say that again? More fun for the money than any other performance car. Oh. What a bold claim made by Volkswagen. Can you tell me, is there any other car that can make that claim? I formally defy anyone to contradict that in the comments. You go out and you find me. 1985 performance car that is more fun for the month. All right? I bet you can't. I'm going to dare you to do it right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. Engineering and design add to the performance value. There's two words you'll likely never hear uttered again, no matter how many days you put rubber to tarmac on God's paved earth. Performance value. The GTI is the new standard of performance and handling and value, apparently. Mark II had legacy, heritage, expectations, thanks in no small part 
to its predecessor, the beloved Italian designed Giugiaro Pen. Hey, Giorgetto! Hey, look, it's Giorgetto! Yeah. Skunk Works Project, the Mark I Volkswagen GTI. Can the up and comer beat the champion crown prince of the hot hatch? Someone will undoubtedly express their opinion here and start an argument. Now I know what you're thinking. Can bunnies hop backwards? Not what I was thinking at all. Well, anyone who's ever spent any amount of time watching bunnies what was he talking about bunnies? will tell you the Mark II GTI had a better engine, better suspension, and better brakes. In 1985, the GTI came with a 10.5 to 1 compression, 1,780cc, 109 cubic inch inline 4 high performance cast iron engine block with an aluminum cylinder head containing hydraulic valve lifters for quiet operation, a digital electronic ignition system with knock sensor, and fuel injected by the Bosch KE Jetronic injection system making a whopping 100 horsepower and 105 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPM. A close ratio 5-speed manual transmission with a final gear ratio of 3.67 enabled the GTI to reach top speed of 116 miles an hour on a closed course with a professional driver at the wheel. I want to drive like they do in the commercial. 0 to 50 miles an hour came in 6.7 seconds. 0 to 60 happened in 9.5. 40 to 60 mile an hour breakaway speed for passing happened in just 7 seconds flat. Proven Volkswagen performance. EPA estimates for the Volkswagen GTI came in at blah 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 blah. Nobody cares how much fuel mileage you get. You just want to drive the damn thing. Front suspension featured independent McPherson struts, a stabilizer bar, and coil springs. The rear had an independent torsion beam axle, collapsible shock, and what the fuck? While the rear had an independent torsion beam axle, stabilizer bar, coil springs, and telescopic shock absorbers offering eight inches of vertical suspension travel for a responsive, smooth, and comfortable ride. The Jetta made it happen with only seven. So, Manual and power assisted rack and pinion steering units were both new for 1985 with a 17 and a half to one ratio for a quicker response offered on the power unit. Four wheel disc brakes had ventilated rotors in the front and solid rotors in the rear. The system featured hydraulic dual diagonal circuits that were power assisted and a rear load sensing rear proportioning valve for increased fade resistance and dependable stopping power in normal driving conditions. Remember, assembly quality and corrosion protection on the Mark II is superb. Nope. For more information on the Mark II A2 Volkswagen Golf Jetta and GTI platforms, stay tuned for the next installment. If you have a Mark II and I can find you, maybe you can be on Mark II interview. Let me know in the comments. I like seeing every week, each and every, I like, I like each and every one. I like seeing y'all here. It's great to see the, all I see is a blinding light. It's in my face all the time. Special front and rear sports type. The system featured hydraulic dual diagonal circuit. The system, the system featured dual diagonal circuits. Damn it. The GTI was touted by Volkswagen. <laughs> uh.